Aloha, I'm Athena Angelique. Welcome to Such Good Dogs. Today we're going to talk about your dog and etiquette for the car, which is very, very important. So, safety issues and etiquette for the car. First, let's talk about door open. Door open does not mean rush through and should not mean rush through to your dog, whether that's your house door or your car door or a gate or what have you. Any threshold, door open doesn't mean rush through. One of the most important things you can teach your dog for lifelong skills is patience and waiting. A great place to start practicing that is at the door. Again, whether it's your front door or your car door. So let's talk about specifically the car today. So what I see a lot is dogs are all excited because we're gonna go in the car and we're gonna go for adventure. I'm so excited, ah! right? You get excited. My dogs get excited when we go in the car as well. And normal dogs will just rush to the car, humans struggling to open the car door. As soon as the car door opens, dog rushes into the car and is all excited back and forth, back and forth, back and forth in the car. Whoa, too much. A big part of waiting and patience and practicing that at the car is helping to have your dog have the proper mindset getting into the car and getting out of the car. So we go to the car. I'm gonna show you a little bit. And we're gonna have the dog sit and have the dog wait. Now you can practice the same thing with your front door. What I first do is I'm just gonna to touch the door handle. If they're already up and at it, uh -uh. get them to back up, sit, wait, good. I wanna be able to go all the way to touch the handle, I'll jiggle the handle, I'll open it an inch, inch by inch by inch so I can get it all the way open. Anytime the dog gets up and tries to rush in, we're gonna mark we disagree with that, uh-uh. Walk the dog away, go back to having the door shut, start all the way over. My goal is to be able to have the dog sit and wait while I completely open the car door, turn back to my dog who is still sitting and waiting, and then when I invite the dog in, that's when the dog's going to get in the car. This is very important to practice. It seems like a very, very simple thing, but a lot of people don't practice this, and it can go a huge way in having better control over your dog because they've learned to practice patience and waiting. So now we get them in the car, right? Now inside the car, I do recommend safety things. So uh, we have car seat harnesses, which we got from Ruffwear, R-U-F-F-W-E-A-R.com, which is one of my favorite places for awesome dog stuff. Um, it's basically like a harness, but it doesn't have like the plastic straps that might just pop open in an accident. It's just much more sturdy, right? And then it has a big loop. I'll show you one in a little bit that you can stick the seatbelt through. That, Having that is an excellent safety thing. People don't think about it until they're in an accident and something actually bad happens and then, oh no, I have to put a seatbelt on my dog. It's actually a really good thing to have a seatbelt on your dog. It's safety. Get that safety harness and put them in a seatbelt. And if you get in an accident, your dog is protected and won't go flying through the car. Nobody wants that. The seatbelt is also very useful in the car to keep your dog to a smaller location. Keep them from being able to go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth because that back and forth can actually energize them and get them hyped up and more excited and make them more likely to bark or do things that we don't wanna have. So keeping them in a specific spot can help keep them more calm and more relaxed. Now, when we get to the place we're going and the dog is ready, getting ready to come out of the car, the same rules are gonna apply. Door open doesn't mean brush through. So when we get to a place with our dog, we're very calmly going to get out of the front now. I do, if I'm in the car and we're already whining and doing things, I'm going to mark with a little uh-uh or something that says I disagree in a calm but firm way. And then I'm going to slowly get out, you know, get my stuff, whatever I might need, come to the back door. And what I will usually even do is put like my stop sign, hand signal, stay or wait in the window. And I'm going to open the door. Now, if you have a dog that's already rushing for the door as you're opening it, you're gonna practice that same thing where I'm gonna to touch it first, jiggle the handle first, try and open it a crack. Anytime they rush for it, we're gonna start all the way over from the beginning. If you need to, take a moment for yourself. Breathe, relax, calm, calm behavior. Calm energy will help you affect your dog in the way that you want. So again, we're gonna to have to get all the way open with the door and the dog is sitting and waiting or at least waiting and I can open the door and then ask the dog to sit and then wait for a couple more seconds. Now we're going to calmly release them from, you know, their seat belt safety harness and put our leash on if we need to do that. And again, we're going to sit and wait. Good. Now one thing I like to be able to do, keep your hand up, you're gonna step back, 
so you're not blocking it because they need to be able to wait without you physically blocking it as well, right? So I want to be able to take a step or two back, have my hand on the leash, have them waiting. Good. You want eye contact with your look or watch me before you let them out of the car. So I do my look. Good. And our release word is break. So they come out of the car. Now, coming out of the car doesn't mean run towards the beach. I always recommend bringing your dog out of a car on leash. Even if I'm gonna take them off leash in five or 10 seconds after that, I'm gonna bring them out of the car on leash because again, it's more control. Otherwise, what can happen is we're launching out of that car, even if you made them sit and wait for a couple of minutes. And then we go into whatever environment that is with that ah, crazy mindset, and that's not good. So leash out of the car, sometimes they're gonna launch. You're gonna take a moment, close the car door, put your keys away if you need to. It, wait, pay attention to me, be calm for a second, and then we're going to calmly and nicely walk to wherever we're going or whatever we're going to do. Very, very important. Now, one of the big reasons car etiquette is so important is because the car can be very dangerous. I have had several clients who have had dogs that have jumped out of the car, which is not a good thing, and they always come to me after the fact, right? So if you start this beforehand, then your dog won't jump out of the car. I, I did have one client they, they had a, um, a truck with a topper on the back, but it wasn't, the, the back hatch wasn't like an actual solid thing. It was one of those like tarpy flappy things, right? And what they would do is just open the tarp and the dog would jump out as fast as possible whenever they got to where they were going. Well, one day they were going down the highway and it happened to be very, very windy and the tarp flap flipped open and the dog jumped out of the car on the highway very bad luckily the dog is okay after some stuff but obviously we don't want that to happen this is why patience and waiting is so very very important in your dog's life and especially when it comes to the car safety first keep your dog safe so real quick I'm going to show you this harness this is by Roughwear. aren't they cute so this is the part that goes on her back this goes her head goes over and this clips underneath and this is safety because instead of like the plastic normal things you see on a harness, it has more of that seatbelt kind of thing goes through. And then it clips in like that. So it's not coming out. It's not going to bust if you hit, you know, get in an accident and hit really hard. So I'm going to show you with the soca real quick. Come here, baby. Up. Hey, okay. So this goes over the head. It's pretty much like a regular harness, goes underneath, clip it on each side, comes up through high, yes. And then make sure it's in there where it's supposed to be, and then it has this fabulous loop that is nice and big that you can put your regular seatbelt through and clip in like a regular seatbelt, and your dog will be safe. So check out the Rough Wear Safety Harness one of my favorites or find one that you love keep your dog safe don't forget to practice your patience and waiting thanks for watching such good dogs good girl